Hi everyone. So finally, after five videos, this is not a Rolling Stone greatest albums of all time list. Time to start talking about other music and other things in my life. And as you can see behind me here, I just did a uh, video with Chris Profi, Musically Obsessed, for my Canadian Step Up and Channel. We uh, did our top 10 deep cuts for Black Sabbath for the Aussie years. So this is, what's today? Today is Sunday, so I'm posting this on Monday, and I'll also be posting the Black Sabbath video on my Canadian Step Muffin channel, so please check that out. Thank you. And as always, I guess it's really important, uh, you know, it helps a channel if you like the video, and also leave a comment and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. John Lennon, uh, as you know, sadly, what happened to him in 1980, it's still kind of a shock to uh, many of us fans. And uh, th there, there's just been times where I kind of ignored, you know, I've got most of his albums, and I kind of don't listen to them like I should because it's it's kind of, in a way, it's kind of depressing with, you know, what could have been. But I'm sure, you know, John Lennon wouldn't want his fans thinking that way. And they'd, uh, he'd want them to enjoy the music. And so last night, I enjoyed his music. I listened to the uh, Stripped Down Double Fantasy. There it is. So this is a two CD. It comes with the regular, you know, the, the remastered album from 1980. And it's, the, the strip down is really, really interesting. It's, there's less production on it. It's, uh, it's a lot more sparse with, you know, the instrumentation and the vocals. And what I love about it is even though, you know, uh, some of John Lennon's vocals, it's almost like uh, a demo. It's not the exact same as the original album. It almost sounds like, some of it sounds like uh, like a rehearsal, like a good rehearsal or whatever. But anyway, John Lennon's, and Yoko Ono's, but John Lennon's vocals, I don't think I've ever heard them sound so crystal clear and loud in a good way, uh, you know, with, without all the echo on it that John Lennon used to like on his vocals because he didn't, he wasn't a fan of his own singing. <laughs> uh, so this is the disc. I highly recommend it if, if you love uh, Double Fantasy and you've never heard the stripped down version. And I know, you know, some people aren't fans of Yoko Ono, but I love a lot of Yoko Ono's music and her songs on Double Fantasy. So yeah, this is the original album, Disc 2. And Disc 1, which I don't even have here because it's in my CD player. And uh, it comes with a very nice booklet. But uh, with the stripped down version, you know, you can hear, hear a, a bit more of John, you know, the studio chatter and joking around at, you know, at the beginning or the end of some of the songs. And one of Yoko's songs, uh, 
Yeah, every man has a woman who loves him. It's very different. It's definitely stripped down, but it doesn't have any drum beat to it. And I love the one, you know, the original. And it's ju just a, a different listen. I don't know if I like it more or less, but it's an interesting listen. And overall, if I want to listen to Double Fantasy, I think I would usually go for the uh, stripped down version. Um, yeah, and the one song, oh, like watching the wheels, hearing John's vocals, like I said, so up front and in your head, there were tears last night, you know. And then, of course, Beautiful Boy is a song about Sean, just gorgeous. And I used to kind of think I like I liked Yoko Ono's songs more than John Lennon's on this, but now they're they're pretty even. I mean, like I said, I enjoy the stripped down versions more overall, and just like starting over is fantastic. Clean up time. His vocals on "I'm Losing You" are spine chilling good. He. He never lost his great vocals. I used to think that he sang better when he was in the Beatles, but no, he, he always had his great voice right up to, to the end. And then Yoko's songs, you know, and, and it's not all lovey-dovey either. There's, uh, you know, I'm Losing You and uh, Yoko's song, I'm Moving On. Uh, and it's just a fantastic album. Yes, I'm Your Angel is a very sweet song by Yoko. Uh, it's just, you know, last night, I hadn't played this in quite a few months. And like I said, you know, there's reasons for it. It's like <laughs> because of the past, what happened in 1980. But I'm going to start playing more John Lennon because this was such a... It, it was the most I've ever enjoyed listening to Double Fantasy was last night. And so I highly recommend the two-disc Double Fantasy stripped down. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye. Focus.